Here with more is senior pastor at the First Baptist Church in Dallas and Fox News contributor, Pastor Robert Jeffress. Hey, Pastor. Hey, Ainsley. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you, too. So why is it important? What is your message to people of faith? You know, Ainsley, I had somebody challenge me this week and say, well, there's nothing in the Bible about voting. Why do we need to vote? And obviously, in biblical times, when you had kings and emperors, you didn't get to vote for them. They were imposed on you just like their policies were imposed upon you. But John Jay, the first chief justice of our Supreme Court, wrote, God has given us the privilege in this Christian nation of choosing our leaders. I mean, think about it. By our vote, we choose our leaders. Leaders, our leaders choose the policies we live under, and those policies determine the moral and spiritual direction of our country. And you know, Jesus said we ought to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. We ought to care about the policies that not only affect us, but affect others as well. And we ought to choose leaders who will implement policies that result in the greatest good, or at least the least amount of harm, to those around us. We have the power to do that through our vote. I know that uh, the evangelical vote went to Donald Trump in 2016, but Joe Biden is a Catholic, and he wrote an op-ed in the Christian Post talking about his Catholic faith, how it guides his policies, and how he wants to follow the golden rule. What did you, what did you think about that? Let's be very clear about this. Joe Biden's policy about the most important moral crisis of our day, the slaughter of 40 million unborn children through abortion, his policy on abortion is not guided by his faith, by his church, by the Bible, or by God. It is guided by Planned Parenthood that has poured $45 million into his and other Democrat candidates. And it's a policy that Joe Biden subscribes to of unrestricted abortion any time in the pregnancy up until the mothers or the babies in the birth canal of the mother. And look, I'm not the only one who is saying that is barbaric. Joe Biden has been denied communion in his own church. Just recently, Archbishop Carlo Vigano, a Catholic, described mm -hmm. Joe Biden as, quote, a puppet who is maneuvered by the elites, end of quote. That hardly sounds like a man guided by faith to me. Well, Pastor, thank you for being bold in your faith. Thanks for serving that Texas community. You have a great church. God bless you. Thanks.